everybody how you doing this is DTM I am here to share a little bit of my sketchbook history a little bit about my sketchbook process and uh, some tips and tricks for artists of any caliber so that they may uh, work on their talent work on their skills and uh, see some growth um, but yeah you can find me anywhere online I've been uh, drawing digitally and traditionally for a long long time here is an old sketchbook of mine. This is 1991, and DTM stands for Dan the Man. Um, someone gave me this book a long time ago as a gift, and, uh, and they told me to go ahead and draw the things that I like to draw, but do it in this book. My introduction to what a sketchbook is, to what a black book is, and this is way back in 1991. And before then, I just drew on paper, and gave away the paper. After this sketchbook, I kept my sketchbooks, I kept my drawings. I can look back and see the, my growth in the drawing and my sketching. So um, it's a bunch of stuff that I have in this book. I'm just gonna scroll through it a little bit. And it gives you a glimpse into my art style at the time, which uh, it's not, I look at it now and I, and I can see where there was a lot of work to be done here. In any case, a lot of it is uh, big muscles. I was a fan of uh, Conan, the Barbarian, Rambo, some superhero stuff, and I like and I used to like drawing a lot of muscles. I would draw friends of mine, and uh, we all have muscles. <laughs> so that's a little bit of way back in the day, right? And uh, my very one of my very my very first sketchbook. I even drew a comic book. As time went on and I collected sketchbooks, I was a little bit afraid of starting a sketchbook and not finishing it or drawing something that I wasn't really happy with. A few years ago, I set out to go ahead and draw all the way through, and I think this is 2011. And we'll see, no, 2015 here. So I like to date some of my work now. And uh, that's 2015, 2014. So I don't know when I started the sketchbook, but as you can see, I like to decorate them with uh, stickers and so on. And uh, and so now, as time went on, I realized that I need to just go ahead and get the sketch out. It does not have to be finished, it doesn't have to be completed, it does not have to be pretty. Uh, just get it out. And this page I started, and I already had some sketches on it, and I didn't like what I had drawn on there, so I drew something else on top. And that's the good thing about a sketchbook is that you, this for yourself is like a journal for you to keep track of your work and the things that come across your mind. And, uh, and you can do whatever you want. There's no judgment, there's no one there to tell you yes or no or what you're doing is right or wrong. So I see, I'm gonna skip through some of these pages just because it's full of ideas and things that I've worked on. These are murals that I drew on paper before I actually did them in, uh, on a wall at a, at a uh, company. And of course I like to draw uh, pinup models and poses, a lot of big hair. And skulls, nonetheless. Uh, skulls are my main thing, that's what I love. And uh, so I, when I started this video, there was a picture of Old Dirty Bastard. And that's, so I have to show you that because of, the, of course this event is uh, the mixtape. And uh, so that's Old Dirty Bastard. There, there is no father to his style and he's a little bit uh, on the edge. So this is uh, some, a sample of another sketchbook that I did. And then a couple years ago, I actually set out to draw every day. And this is uh, 2014. I had these uh, 12 little Fabriano sketchbooks. And I decided that I wanted to accomplish the challenge of drawing one drawing every day for a full year. So I did. I did. And with the great benefit to that, besides the challenge, the satisfaction, and so on, is that. I, I can see the improvement of my art and my sketching as the days go by. So this is January. I'm just skipping over some pages. It, it was not the best paper. I like the size. It's very compact. Um, but I did not like the way the, the pencil or the ink felt on the paper. But I went through it anyways. I still battled through it and created my artwork on there. 
and some drawings are okay. Some of them, some of them could be better. Sometimes I drew an idea and it came out alright, and then I thought of a better way of doing it, so I did it again. And I did that all the way for 12 whole sketchbooks. So an idea that never came to pass, that did not like the proportions, so that never actually worked. Uh, of course, the classic heart, um, Scully stuff. Uh, that's one of my favorite movies. Uh, office space so as I as I go through every day sketching and drawing I get ideas for characters I get ideas for stories and I just go ahead and draw it and sketch it and let, let it leave it at that never touch it again just let it go and uh, and at the end of the year I was able to see a much cleaner sketching much cleaner drawing I am uh, envious of some of the artists out there and some of the things that they do and uh, but through this journey of a full year of drawing I was able to get to a point where I can I can compose my illustrations I can compose my drawings into a, a, a design that I like and that let me see my art style come through so that's if you want to see this, all these sketches are available online on my website at uh, deltatangomike.com. So I'm going to make sure that's on the screen. So after all of those sketches, sketch, sketchbooks, I went ahead and grabbed, uh, I still have other little sketchbooks like this. This is a moleskin. I like the moleskin. I like the size of the moleskin sketchbooks. They're kind of compact and small. They're easy to fit into your pocket. But the one complaint I have is that the paper sometimes is too thin. When you start to do all their multimedia, it does not translate well on this very thin paper. So my answer was, and this sketchbook I just started not too long ago, I need to go ahead and add some more to it. What I decided to do a while back was to learn how to make my own sketchbooks. So of course it's full of stickers all over, because I like stickers, so I throw them on everything that I find. But I took the time to learn how to stitch my own sketchbook. So let's find the stitching somewhere in here. There it goes. There's the stitch. And it's going to be tough to see here on the camera, but in there in the middle is glue, all types of glue, and um, glue here for the paper to glue the covers. I cut out this paper. I bought big sheets of um, drawing paper, big sheets, and then I uh, used my phone as a guide as to the size of the sketchbook that I wanted because this is the type of size that fits in my pocket very comfortably. So I went ahead and cut out the paper the size I wanted. I wanted a paper uh, sketchbook that flipped up kind of like the old detectives and I went online to find how to make the sketchbooks, how to stitch them together and so on. And um, so there we have it. I ended up with a kind of sketchbook size that I like and I like to sketch out ideas and things that come to my mind. I started this sketchbook, uh, was it early this year? Yeah, actually this is my second sketchbook for this year at this size. And every time I set out to make more sketchbooks, they get better and better, and I make, do them uh, nicer and nicer, and this is one of the nicer ones. And so I like to get my ideas down. Sometimes the drawing never leaves the page. Sometimes the drawing becomes a logo for later. Sometimes the drawing is just something that I feel like sketching at that time. And uh, sometimes, let's see, they become a character that I want to see later on in a digital platform. Which brings us to the next point and the next medium that I am now using. Early this year I got a hold of an iPad and I've been drawing and sketching on this iPad and I've been uh, drawing digitally now. But what I like about drawing digitally is that I do not have to scan the artwork from paper to digital now. Now I go ahead and draw digitally and, uh, and I like the results. So here's a piece that you see in the exhibit. I drew it here on Adobe Draw. It's an app. And here are my layers for how I created this artwork. So I can turn off some things here so you can see how it's put together. 
and that's the line drawing. Uh, as time goes on, you get better and better drawing and sketching. And now I also have an iSurface Pro by Microsoft. And, uh, and what I like about drawing digitally again is that I can sketch out ideas right then and there, but also I don't have to carry all these sketchbooks anymore. So the day that I got these uh, tablets, these big tablets, I went ahead and put away this big sketchbook that I don't have to carry it. Because you have untold number of pages that you can keep and draw on, on and on and on every day. So one of my favorite apps here on the Surface is the Sketchable app. And again, it's of course layers. And just like in any sketch, what you do in most sketches is uh, start with a pencil drawing. You know, get your, get your figure, get your layout, get your detail. And as you can see here, there's the sketching bits of it and then there's the more refined drawing bits there's the little sketching bits of it back here and then a more refined drawing well you have the same options here when you do digitally and the great part about it is that you do not have to uh, erase what you do is you have layers and these layers is where you sketch out ideas in one layer Get your idea together. Get your medium together. There we go. Size the pencil and so on. I don't have to carry all of these markers and a whole bunch of pencils. I have all the tools here in one application. I get the sketch the way I want just to get the main idea out. Then I go ahead and start drawing over that idea and uh, and clean it up and then get rid of that first sketch. So now I end up with just an image that works. So this part of my process is a little bit about my sketchbooks. You can find more about my skills and talents online. You can find me on all social medias under Delta Tango My Follow, check me out, give me some feedback, connect, let me see your work and let's talk about art because that's what I'm about.